All right. So today I just have a couple announcements before we get started with the warm up. Um, we are recording the warm up. So if you don't want your voice recorded or your video recorded, you can turn those off now. The chat will not be recorded. Um, so feel free to say anything in there. Well, not anything, but you know. Um, and then this week we're trying individual uploads to the grade scope rather than group uh, uploads. So everybody needs to write down their work for the warm up. Everybody needs to write down their work for every problem and submit it. It seems that uh, for the rules and the extra problems, Gradescope is still asking you to submit something. So you can just submit files of your other work um, if you need to do that. Um, and then finally, there is a take home quiz this week. Uh, please check Gradescope for the deadline of that quiz. I think it was originally going to be like Monday evening or Tuesday evening, but that might be changing because of uh, no class on Monday or Tuesday. Um, so just keep a lookout for that. All right, any questions about that administrative stuff before we get started? Feel free to put it in the chat. Let's see. Okay. All right, so today's warm up problem. Is there a number a such that the limit as x goes to negative two of this function exists as a finite number? If so, find the value of a and the value of the limit. So the key here is a finite number. Okay, so maybe put in the chat what you think we could do first. Okay, so we have some suggestions for factoring. Um, it might be a little hard to factor the numerator. Um, and sometimes, usually anytime we have a limit, we should probably just plug in negative, well, plug in what the value is just to see what happens. So what is gonna happen when we plug in negative two? Uh, maybe we could just look at the denominator first. Does somebody want to tell me what's going to happen to the limit of the denominator? Yep, it is going to be zero. And then what about the limit of the numerator? We can still plug in yep. awesome yep so we can combine this guy's gonna give us three times four so that's 12 and then plus another three so that's 15 and then we have minus 2a plus another a so we'll have minus a all right, and what should this limit be equal to? Do we even know what the limit should be equal to? Um, so here's, here's a question. Um, what if 15 minus A was not zero? So this limit of the denominator is not zero. What would that tell us about the limit overall of the whole function? Yeah, so it would not be in indeterminate form. So there's a chance that like if the, if the numerator wasn't zero, um, we could get a limit that is like infinity. We could get negative infinity depending on like the signs. 
uh, there's a chance that we could even not get a limit at all. One does not exist. So what does that tell us since we want to find a finite number for this limit? What does that tell us about 15 minus a? What do we need to have 15 minus a equal to? Awesome, yep, has to equal zero because then we'll have zero over zero, we'll have this indeterminate form and then we can keep going about the limit um, as usual. So if we know that 15 minus a is zero, do we know what a is? Yep, a is gonna be 15. So I can just plug in 15 for a. And now, <laughs> now what can we do um, to figure out this limit now that we know what a is? Any suggestions? Yep, factor. So do some of you want to factor the numerator, some of you factor the denominator and put in the chat what you get? Awesome. Yep. We're going to get, so in the numerator, we could pull out a three from everything and then factor. Yeah. Looks like a couple of you guys are getting it. And then factor the bottom. Yep. So does everybody feel good about factoring these two quadratics? All right, so now what can we do? Yep, we are going to cancel the x plus 2. And then what can we do with what we're left with? Yes, awesome guys. Yeah, we can plug in. So maybe try working out what you're going to get when you plug in. Awesome. All right, so if you have questions about the warm up problem, please type them now. And I'll, yeah, here we go. So Dan asked um, So, any other number besides 15 would give a non finite number? Um, so, if we had a, a not equal to 15, then the um, numerator would not be zero. So we wouldn't have an indeterminate form. And uh, we would have to do a little bit more work to see exactly where it's going, if it's going positive infinity, negative infinity, what's happening. Um, and uh, yeah, so did that answer your question? Because I guess um, to make it a little clearer, if the bottom is going to zero really quick and the top is not going to zero, then the top will be bigger as we get closer and closer to whatever limit we're going to. And um, 
So it's going to be, yeah, getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, so we needed the indeterminate form because we're looking for a finite uh, number as our limit. All right, so maybe I'll give like 30 more seconds if you want to type any questions. Oh, this is a good question. So does solving for indeterminate form always lead to a finite number? I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. Um, I'm trying, I, I'm trying to think of an example because I feel like the answer should be no, but um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. I'll think about it uh, this evening and I'll post something on Piazza um, for that question. That's a really great question. Let me just write it down really quick. Okay. All right. So I'm going to stop this recording. Oh, that was stopping something else. <laughs>